how should people actually look at the polls right now? Is it hedging against both eventualities, or do we trust the polls? I think as the um, as the, 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 the picture from the polls becomes clearer, I think maybe the trust by the market into the predictions increases. Um, but, of course, it's important to look beyond the uh, national polls, look at the specific polls in the uh, in the battle uh, states, and then also focus uh, very much on what's going on in the key Senate races. Um, because, you know, the combination of who wins the White House and who uh, sort of whether the Senate um, flips uh, from a, a Republican to a Democratic majority will, will determine the policy in the United States in the next uh, four years. Um, Elga, what's the one thing that you think markets are, are, are mispricing? I, um, is it something to do with dollar? Is it the impact actually that the election could have on some of the emerging markets? Um, I, th I mean, one of the concerns that we have is around the uncertainty that the election and maybe the aftermath of it also creates. Um, it's interesting to see that as the, 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 the lead for the Democratic uh, candidate widens, markets seem to conclude that that makes it less likely for the election to be contested, which is what the volatility seems to imply. Um, but um, there are um, also, obviously, concerns around specific sectors. And some sectors, like tech, for instance, have a very high concentration. Um, they also uh, account for a major part of the U.S. performance of U.S. stock markets overall of the broader indices. So these are um, some of the concerns that we have going into the election and sort of explain uh, why we are just sort of equal weight uh, in U.S. equities at the moment. Um, Elga, is there something else that you actually quite like in, you know, the, I don't know if it's havens, I don't know whether there's something in the Swiss franc or actually, uh, you know, yen that we should be looking at or whether they'll, you know, take the brunt of a lot of volatility in the coming weeks? Yeah, so, I mean, you, you're essentially asking about the, do the, the U.S. dollar, uh, which is maybe where, where we should start. Um, there has been some chatter about regime change, um, but regime changes in currency markets don't happen um, very often. And uh, we think we can still uh, very well explain what happened to the U.S. dollar, even with the larger moves that we saw in the early summer uh, with our models. Um, so we don't see any signs of a regime change. And we view the dollar always being driven by interest rate differentials on the one, one side, which is what explains much of the, um, uh, the depreciation, and then also the risk appetite in global financial markets, because the dollar remains a safe haven asset. Um, so if uncertainty increases, even if it might be some of it might be originating in the United States. Investors still um, head towards the U.S. dollar.